The new Johor Menteri Besar, Dr. Sahrudin Jamal, said the people will be his priority in carrying out his duties and responsibility as Menteri Besar. According to Dr. Sahrudin, at the same time, he will carry out a portfolio reshuffle in the state government's administration. Saya akan cuba menggalas amanah yang diberikan kepada saya dengan sepenuh hati untuk memastikan kemajuan negeri Johor dan yang penting sekarang ialah rakyat. Kita ingin memastikan rakyat negeri Johor dapat menikmati segala kemajuan ataupun pembangunan yang telah kita rancangkan. He was speaking at a media conference at Johor's Parti Bersatu office in Kempas. Also present were Pakatan Harapan Component Party leaders and former Menteri Besar Dato' Osman Sapian. All Pakatan Harapan leaders present pledged to support Dr. Sahrudin as the 17th Johor Menteri Besar. Uh, memang uh, apabila terjadi perubahan pucuk pimpinan, memang akan ada perubahan portfolio di mana Dato' Man ada tim dia. Saya pun ada tim saya. Jadi saya akan memilih uh, YBYB yang saya selesa bekerja dengan YBYB itu dan untuk memastikan sekarang yang lebih penting ialah macam mana kita dapat membantu masyarakat untuk memastikan masyarakat dapat uh, segala kemudahan apa yang telah kita rancangkan sebelum ini. According to Dr. Sahrudin, he will submit the list of exco names to the Sultan of Johor, Sultan Ibrahim Almarhum Sultan Iskandar in the near future. Earlier, Dr. Sahrudin Jamal was sworn in as the 17th Johor Menteri Besar before the Sultan of Johor, Sultan Ibrahim Almarhum Sultan Iskandar at 9.30 a.m. today. According to Sultan Ibrahim's Facebook page, the Bukit Kapong Assemblyman received a letter of appointment and took his oath of office in the ceremony of the submission of the letter of appreciation and the declaration of the appointment of the Johor Menteri Besar at the ceremony held at Istana Bukit Serene. Also present were <coughs> the Tunku Mahkota of Johor, Tunku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim and Sultan Ibrahim's son-in-law, Datuk Dennis Muhammad Abdullah. Dr. Sahrudin, who was previously the, state health, the state's Health, Environment and Agriculture Committee chairman, replaces Dr. Dato' Osman Sapian, who resigned on April 8th.